Hey guys, I'm Lucas and welcome to this quick KSP 1.2 pre-release notice. I just want to make sure all of you know that you can from now on opt into the KSP 1.2 beta. As last time, this is available to players using Steam but is now also open for players who bought it over the official KSP store. In this video, I want to focus on the new communication network or ComNet for short. For that, there is a new type of antenna called Relay Antenna. As the name suggests, its only purpose is to relay a signal from one point to another. There is of course a lot more this update adds and much has also changed under the hood. The developers have cleaned up the code for example, which is now more efficient. Zooming in and out of craft, I always had hiccups, which is especially annoying making videos. That is thankfully gone. Anyways, probes without astronauts on board now need a communication link to KC if you want to control them. This is pretty similar to reality but is optional since you can turn it off in the difficulty settings. I still like it since it finally gives such satellites a real purpose. To demonstrate how it works, I have set up this completely not cheated communication network. It consists of four comsats in Kerbin synchronous orbit. Each one is separated by 90 degrees so they can combined see almost every point at the surface. Only the poles are not covered by them at this point. One thing I want to mention here are the occlusion and ground stations you can toggle in the options. Enabling the ground stations, there will be multiple dishes on the ground making the relay a little obsolete for probes near Kerbin. I don't like that and turn this off and so do I with the occlusion. It basically makes the signal penetrate a little through the ground so you don't have to achieve a perfect line of sight. This is however just my personal preference and you can choose whatever you like but keep that in mind because the following might look a little different for you. To show how such communication satellites can be useful, I sent a basic probe to space. I call it Kerbnik. The launch is pretty standard and switching to map mode, you can see the link to KC. For that no antenna is required because every probe has a weak integrated one. To boost the signal strength to reach farther, you can attach one or three as I do. Yes, the signal strength stacks, so it is not just for the looks. As Kerbnik loses the direct line of sight to my ground station, the link switches and it now uses a relay satellite to reach KC. As the probe goes around Kerbin, it keeps switching between the available satellites to achieve the maximum signal strength, so it always chooses the best link available. Now in the end, as a little bonus, I want to mention the new fairings. These got really cool because you can now not only use them as you have done before, but they also automatically create a frame when using the new attachment points. You could for example use this to easily launch multiple payloads stacked on top of each other or if you push it a little further, you can make a station frame out of it with only a very few parts. Ok, that shall conclude this quick pre-release notice and I hope to see you next K-News episode if you like. Auf Wiedersehen and thank you for watching.